Hey there, sign of Gemini. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the end of February 2021. Thank you for liking, sharing if you want to subscribe and then you'll be notified of future readings, which there's quite a few. Um, hit the bell then. And also, uh, this will be oracle cards, maybe clarifying with the tarot at the end if we need to and tea leaves. That's how I'm going to do it this time. And we can start. So let's call in Gemini's angels and spirit guides, higher self, higher power, so that we can channel in messages that are really for the whole of Gemini and for their greater good only. All right. I think we're ready. We're just going to shuffle it like this one time. All right. <clears throat> Alethea, hmm. The village. And the offering. All right, interesting cards. You know, one second, let me look at these for just a minute. Let's pull, let's go ahead and pull out your spell casting cards and then I have more to kind of connect all of this with it. So the truth with Alethea. The village is about your hometown either leaving to because you need to reach your peak and it's on top of this mountain, which is far away. It's it's different location, I guess, than your home. So the village is either leaving that place or coming back. All right, the spell casting deck. And you may really even be leaving a far off place um, to do maybe some kind of like volunteer work. Peace. Maybe a peace mission or promoting peace somewhere. The village. Or we do oftentimes think of home as being, well, there's no place like home, right? So, what else do we have? Answers. Good. Seek and you will find the answers. Seek and you'll find the answers and the truth will come to you with that Aletheia card. So, the village. Finding some truth out. Good or bad. Peace. Finding peace within no matter what is happening around you. The offering is about giving up something like a self-sacrifice. Giving up something for something else. That is the offering. All right, and birthing something. There's fertility on the bottom. This could mean a business, a company, something you want to start off the ground, or a group, like starting a group. Or, like I said, that, that does remind me of um, volunteering somewhere or serving, like, in a different place, way different place. And that won't be everybody, but that's what I'm getting with some people. All right. We have Wisdom from the Oracle deck. I think we are ready. Or Gemini, please. Last part of February. Wow, look at that. I can't do that, like, on purpose. I can't even find a way how I could do that. Peace and peace. That is such a message to you. Both mean f finding peace within and using that to calm you down instead of looking for peace, like, without you. Like, look within, not without. That makes any sense? Clean it up. There's some things that... Maybe in your job or maybe in a relationship, there's some things that need cleaning up. So this could be like a, a letter coming in telling you that they need you to complete something or an assignment if you're at school. Something that has to do with fixing things. It can really be literal about something needs cleaning like in the home. Could be that too. All right, so what we're going to do now at this point is I think we should do a past, present, future, but just a row of cards, and we will use the Urban Tarot. It's a combination of the Toth Tarot and the um, Rider Weight, so it has different meanings. Some of the names are different, too, and I will tell you what they mean when we get to them. All right, the 
Urban Dictionary. The Urban <laughs> Urban Dictionary. The Urban Tarot. All right, I think we are ready for Gemini. Please last last part of February for Gemini. Starting with the past and anywhere on the present to the future is you pinpointing what card is on your timeline. The moon. Something is not known. The moon. There, there may be something that you feel is being hidden from you. And there really might be something that's not in view right now. But... Even in this, you're asked not to find worry in this situation. Only peace from within. Only peace from within. All right. Then we have Princess of Discs, which that is the Page of Pentacles. So that's good news about either this paperwork that we had to do or um, something about an investment or money owed something coming your way and this will be the news about that so maybe waiting for a package or a letter or something like that then we have prince of wands which is king of wands um and it has the journalist here so the prince of, or king of wands basically in this card um represented by leo aries sagittarius and then this one right here is um taurus virgo capricorn and the moon is pisces so this, um, what they mean by the journalist is this guy, he finds out information and he can use it, use it to inform other people because he knows how to do things. He has seen and witnessed all these things. Not saying that every journalist is like that, but, but just the, the nature of the job is to do your research, inform, and then communicate. And I think that's what the King of Wands is representing here. Wow. And I will communicate that to you and probably get slack for being so positive. I actually get that. Anyway, it's 10 of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, the wealth card. I mean, look at those. There's diamonds, di diamond rings everywhere. 10 of pentacles. I love it. I love it for you all. I don't even want to change it. I don't want to touch it. We're going to just add tea leaves, Gemini, and we'll be wrapping this up. Nice. I think that's about all it's all I'm feeling so on the part that might be unknown or something that maybe you have to clean up or help clean up is my discord among friends or family flag do not be tempted to lower your standards don't be tempted to lower your standards might be about either something that you're sacrificing too much for that you shouldn't give out more than what you're giving because you're worth more or this is like I need some answers when I find out the truth in a situation that's been hidden from me I might not want to deal with it something anymore that's what I'm getting for that I on your target a goal-oriented person definitely ends up at the ten of pentacles that's just the spot where if you've worked hard even if you have, if you're just in a good state of mind, you will vibrate this uh, energy from you, and it will come to you. So, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person, you should not cross. That might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, um, just because it it landed on that. This target, a goal-oriented person, is exactly how I would describe King of Wands. That might be you too. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Join me for your March reading next. Thank you. Sending you love and light.